is a demonstration of a program that uh, my students made with the micro bit which uh, emulates the logic gates. So when you plug your micro bit in it flashes with the letter G which you can see there just to say that uh, you can choose a gate and if I press down the button A it will load the AND gate. So I've just scrolled across AND and now the micro bit is behaving like an AND gate. Um, if you're aware of your logic gates, you'll know that an AND gate only works if both inputs are pressed. So if I press A, nothing happens. If I press B, nothing happens. But if I press them both together, then it says one. Obviously one represents uh, an input. And then we're back to normal. To return back to the menu, shake, and I go to um, the G for the gate, and I've selected the uh, not gate. Now a NOT gate inverts, so at the moment I'm not putting any input in, but I'm getting an output of 1. If I hold the input down, I get an output of 0, so it's reversing um, the, uh, the input, or inverting it. Let's try the OR gate, so press B. So now an OR gate, an OR gate you can press either and they work, so let's try them. B gives me a 1. A gives me a 1. And the bit that always confuses uh, students is when you press both of them on an OR gate, you still get an output. This is a great way to demonstrate it and, uh, and show them it. So you can download the program, um, but if you carry on watching the video, I'll quickly talk you through the code and you can see how it's structured and created. Welcome to this video where I'm going to walk you through a simple micro bit program that teaches students about logic gates. Now if you are studying or teaching GCC uh, computing or key stage 3 computing you've probably come across logic gates and um, I tend to find it's one of the topics that students enjoy once they get their head around the idea that something is turned on or turned off and there is an output. Um, as a teacher myself, I'm always looking for a way to stretch the students and to get them to demonstrate their understanding of the, uh, the knowledge and, um, and, and theory. So I asked them to use the micro bit to create a logic gate program um, that allows you to press the various buttons as inputs. So you can consider this as input one, input two, and responds appropriately. So for example, you may be aware that for an AND gate, both inputs need to be pressed. So in the example program here, obviously A and B both need to be pressed. And you can see down here in the code, if you press A and B, then it displays a one. Um, and you can use this to obviously teach students and uh, recap the fact that one is a, an output and zero would be no output. Um, program to shake in and that returns back to the menu and then you can choose um, another gate so if we press button B then we are running an OR gate and with an OR gate you can press one or the other so input A or input B and we get a one so let's try this then um, we'll just uh, make it full screen reset it and off we go so Press button A. Yeah, press button A. And that should. Uh, there we go. So this is an AND gate. So with an AND gate, you need to press A and B. So if I press A on its own, it doesn't work. B on its own, it doesn't work. Press A and B together, and I get the one being displayed. Okay. Press the shake to return back to gates. So gates. And now we're going to try out the not gate. So this is the reverse. So now the one is on because obviously it's reversed. If I press A then the input is reversed and flipped. So I'm, uh, I've got a positive input coming in and um, is going to go through the NOT gate which will invert it so the output is zero. 
So you can use this obviously to teach the various gates, um, but what I found was obviously sometimes better to use the diagrams and uh, truth tables. Um, but this was really useful to get students um, to think about how they would program it. So not only were they um, stretching and establishing their understanding of logic gates, they were also using uh, loops and um, else if statements, etc. And thinking about how they could create this program um, that, that represents logic gates. So if you want to try this out, um, the um, link to the file is below and you can just upload it to your micro bit and give it a go. If you make any improvements, obviously uh, try it out and um, share them with us and I'm happy to upload them and um, obviously you know it's, it's great to, to see how people adapt and uh, improve programs. So thanks for your time, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, feedback's always welcome and uh, thank you very much.